World Champion Jeroen Kemsle. Eighteen years of age. It was the first run he completed this morning of the competition over the first few days of this. He's more like what we saw in Italy and Kampschler will cross the line in front. Slams his arms together. 149.69. The Dutchman who won the slalom, giant slalom and super combined events in Italy earlier in the year. As well as winning the Super G World Cup final event. He's top now. Dino Sokolovic. Wife Barbara will be watching on, I'm sure. Dino has been in great spirits all week. Just keep saying to me, I'm, I'll do my best. Whatever that is, is what it is. Sokolovic, this is good. Looking for 149. He's top. Sokolovic of Croatia with one to come in Johan Tabele. Oh, he's enjoyed that. I'm sure his wife Barbara is screaming at her laptop or device, whichever way she's watching it. Only this man can stop the Croatian from taking the very last race before we go to Croatia. There'd be a certain sense of symmetry to that, wouldn't there? Tabele. He had over four tenths of a second advantage, so he's got a little mistake he can make. As long as he's somewhere between 53.80, he'll be fine. But this is quick again from Tabule. He's out. Johan Tabule goes. And you can only imagine what's going through his head there. You can see him just staring at the sky. A huge chance for Johan Tabele. But there's your winner. And look, just look at the laid back demeanor of the man. He said to me in the breakfast area yesterday, hey, look, I'll do what I can do. And if it's good enough, it's good enough. And it's exactly what he needed. Tabele just couldn't get back inside you can see straight away so annoyed with himself and he still sat there pondering Sokolovic comes out Damien Mislak his fellow Croatian Pedersen gets the handshakes as well Jeroen Kamstra one of the first to uh, congratulate him so well Sokolovic was on the podium yesterday in third. He's got top spot this time around. 